welcome to Aerobics Our Style. We're doing an abdominal workout today, which is why we're marching. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? You always need to warm up before any workout. If you're going out running, you should start out by walking. You're going to play a game of tennis, walk to the game of tennis and warm up. You're going to do an abdominal workout, do some other form of exercise first, and then get down and do the abs. And that's what we're doing today. We're going to start out with some low impact exercise. So start marching on the right leg first, push eight, and seven, and six, and five. How about doing an easy walk on the right leg? Ready, steady. Let's go, easy. Step it out and back. All the way out and back. Push it out, then reverse your easy walk, take that backwards. So you're gonna go back, back, in, in. Back, back, in, in. Combination, one forward, one back. Let's go, go one forward, one back. March forward and march back, go now. One, two, three, knee up. Easy walk forward. So it's one easy walk forward, one easy walk backwards, then march. One, two, three, knee up. Try that again. Two step forward and back, then march. One, two, three, and back. Easy walk, step out, and back, and then march. One, two, three, knee up. One more chance, forward, backwards, and march. Knee up, stay here, easy walks on the spot. Next time we're gonna turn these easy walks into single knee lifts, alternating legs. Try them now, ready? Reach out with the arms, step knee, and again, step knee, and again. So it's a little bit like a step class in this section here. Single knee lifts, reaching and pulling. Two more times. Link it all together. Easy walk forward now. So it's right leg and back. Now you do the march. Come on down. Adding on the knee lifts on the next section. So you're gonna go step knee and back. Try it again. Step knee. Easy walk forward, right leg leading. Take it back. Easy walk again. Take it back. March forward and back. I'm gonna find the beat again somewhere. Single knees up. Three knee repeater. Three, two, easy walk, right leg. There it is, one, and back. March forward, and back. Single knees up. This time we add the three knee repeater, and we should end up on the other leg if we're lucky. Left foot leading easy. Take it back. March forward, and back. Single knees up. So it's single knee lift. Then the three knee repeater, that's three. One more time each side. Here we go, right leg, move it back. March it down, all the way back. Single knees up, and step knee, and again, step knee. Now the three knees, three, two. Left foot easy, here we go, forward, back, march. Are you getting a little bit tongue tied on that one? Single knees, sometimes it can get confusing with the feet. Three knees up, that's three, and two, and one. March on the spot, breathe in. Stretching to the ceiling and exhale all the way down. If this is your first time at doing aerobics, that pattern might have been a little bit confusing. Don't ever give up. The more you do it, the better you'll get. Start with the right leg and give me heel taps. Really basic now. Heel, 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 that's it. Good, keep that moving. Reach the arms out strongly. Take eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, turn this into a knee lift, reach the arms up higher. Knees up and stretch. Are you using your abdominals yet? Come on, pull those stomach muscles in. Reach a little higher, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Back to the heels, down. Four, three, two. Now knees up, push and lift. Four, three, two, heels down, reach it out. Four, and three, and two. Then knees up, stretch and lift, two. Three, last time, heels down. Push, two, three, knees up. And then we're going back to our marches, taking a deep breath in. All right, we're going back to the complicated routine. Hope you've cleared out the cobwebs. Are you ready on the right leg? Easy walk forward and back. Some of you find this really easy. March it up. But other people are a little bit more confused. You need practice, knees up. That's it. Three knee repeater. And three, and two. Left foot easy now. Left and back. Now we march. One, two, three. Single knees up. Step knee. And again, three knee repeater. Team, you did really, really well. March on the spot. We're gonna have a break now. We're coming back with abdominals, so we will be lying on the ground. If you don't have a comfortable area, make space, put a towel down. Make yourselves comfy. We'll see you straight after this break. 
Welcome back, it's time for abdominals now. You need to control yourself as you roll back, using your abdominals, rolling through, you can support yourself with your hands. Bring your feet a bit closer in towards your bottom. Brace your abdominals, single counts up and down. Breathe out and in. Just focus on that breathing. Make sure you're keeping your chin away from your chest. You're lengthening out through the back of the neck. Supporting with your hands. Lifting and squeezing. So you're not doing this with your arms. You're not allowed to squeeze in and out. With too much arm movement, too much momentum. Trying to squeeze with the muscle. Draw the belly button down. Eight more. Eight times. Seven. Tilt the pelvis. Round the body up. Come on, four more. Breathe out, four. Squeeze, three. Same thing again, but you're going to go a little bit slower. Two counts up, two counts down. Coming up for two and down. Take that again. Breathing out as you lift and lower that back down. Squeeze and lift and lower. Squeezing a little higher. Four more times the same. Breathing out as you lift up. Lower down. Focus on that squeeze. Tighten to the tummy. Two more. Breathe out. Breathe in one more time. Exhale, squeeze and lift. And lie all the way back and down. Your head and shoulders are down. Lift two legs off the ground. Imprinting your spine. Keep your tummy tight. Legs at 90 degrees. One toe touches and lift. Toe down and lift. Your head and shoulders are now relaxing. Can you feel that when you do crunches sometimes your neck can get quite tense? And in fact the focus is more on your neck muscles than your abdominal muscles. When that starts to happen it's time to put your head down and relax the neck and shoulders. Because you've lost the strength in your tummy. You're working too hard in the neck. So right now we've gone back to the abdominals. You are controlling the movement. Well, I'm hoping that you're controlling the movement. Concentrating, maintaining a nice tight tummy, pulling your belly button down. One more time each side. Then place your feet back down on the ground again. Okay, it's time to work in the upper body again. We've done single counts, we've done double counts. Take three counts up, one count down. Let's go. Three, two, one. And back, breathe out. Three, two, one. Again, squeezing and lifting, nice and tight. Draw your belly button down as you crunch up. You're working a team of muscles, but basically rectus abdominis, the ones you can see on the outside, those six pack muscles. What do you mean you can't see your six pack? What have you been doing? Come on, you've got to peel away all those extra bits of body fat there. You've got to start working those muscles. You've all got a six pack. Every single person's got one. You've got to find it. And again, three up, use your arms, one, Two, three, again reach out. One, two, three. Use alternating hands. So sometimes you start with the right hand, sometimes you start with the left hand, but keep reaching. Come on, climb the rope. Four more. Up one, two, three. Down, breathe out. One, squeeze two, three. Two more. Squeeze and lift. Two, three. One more time. Squeeze, lift. Two, three. Lie the head and shoulders down, going back to the leg exercise. Tummy nice and tight, hands relax down, one foot at a time, toe down, lift. So this is an exercise you do as sort of a recovery, because you're not working the six pack muscles any more, you're working the deep muscles, transverse abdominis. Imagine layer upon layer, it's like a bit like one of those cakes, layer upon layer upon layer. The first layer, once you take away your skin and your body fat, you've got rectus abdominis on the outside, the six pack muscles. Below that, you peel those away, a bit of an anatomy lesson, External and internal oblique muscles, working around the waist, helping you with rotation and flexion. Take those away from the belly button down to the pubic area and wrapping around to your spine is transverse abdominis. Deep abdominals, your core stabilizers. Focus on those now. Come pull it in tighter, feel your pelvic floor working. Two more, one more. Four counts up, four counts down, let's go. Four, three, two, slowly down, one, two, you're not allowed to fall back down, you've got to control it. Squeeze four, three, two. Squeeze it down, one, two, three. Same again, roll it up. Shh. Breathing out on the way up. Breathing in as you lower. Controlling, same again. Squeeze and roll. Two, three, four, and down. You've got to take four more times the same. Don't stop, roll it up. Two, three, four, and fold it down. Try it again, three to go, come on. Are you guys still smiling? Oh, they are smiling. So professional. And again, 
Is it a smile or is it a grimace? It's like, oh, oh, squeeze my tummy. One more time, let's go. To the top and roll it down. Two, three, head and shoulders down, two legs off the ground. Same again, toe down and lift. Alternating legs, tummy nice and tight. You're bracing the whole way. Now if you wanted to make this section a bit harder, what you could do, lift the head and shoulders off the ground. Let's keep this one going through the break, at least part of the break. And when we come back, more abdominals. See you soon. How did you go with all those last exercises? We were focusing on the rectus abdominis, the six pack muscles and then the transverse abdominis, the deeper lying muscles. Also giving our neck and shoulders a little bit of a break sometimes. Let's flip over for a second. We're going to work the transverse muscles again, but we're going to focus in a different direction now, using gravity as our resistance. We're going to pull our bodies up against gravity. It's called the plank or the hover. Lying all the way down. We're going to work level or layer upon layer, like we said before, layer upon layer or level upon level. The first stage is to find if you're working the right muscles. You need to lie all the way down. Now, the reason I have to keep my head up is I need to talk to you, but you've got your head down, you're listening and maybe peeking out of one eye with what's happening. I want you to breathe out, and when you breathe out, put your fingertips near your waist, breathe out and see if you can actually feel your waist lifting a little bit off the ground or at least tightening in, and then relax. Exhale, squeeze and lift, and then breathe in and relax. As you breathe out, you should feel your waist getting smaller, drawing up nice and tight, and then relaxing. I'm not actually rounding in the body or doing a pelvic tilt, that's all staying the same. It's just the muscles pulling up internally. Breathe out. And then let that relax again. If you feel it falling back down, try it again, breathing out, squeezing. Drawing those muscles in and then relaxing down. It's a very subtle movement, but it's very important that you really know what that feels like. Now if you want to, you can stay at stage one. You just stay there and you keep focusing on drawing it in and relaxing. Stage two. Bring your elbows underneath your shoulders so you've got some support there. I need you to lift up onto your knees and get your body from the top of the head to the knees to be in one straight line. So you're not allowed to lift your bum up in the air or drop your hips down or be rounding in your back. Try and lengthen it all the way out, squeezing your bottom together. Now at the moment, I'm not really contracting my abdominals very much yet. What you have to do is that breathing again. Breathe out, draw the abdominals in tight. Now keep breathing while you're holding the abs up. So you're not allowed to let it flop down, let the hips go. You've got to hold that steady. You're breathing the whole time. You know that I'm breathing because I'm talking. I don't know whether you're breathing or not. You've got to keep reminding yourself to breathe out. You're drawing your belly button in. You're keeping your waist tight. You're lifting through those shoulders. You're staying strong in your body. Eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now coming back, let's take active recovery. Knees apart, hands under the shoulders. Abdominals nice and tight. Take opposite arm and leg and balance. Stretching all the way and hold your balance there. Again, you're not dipping in the body. You've got to hold that tight. Lower down, change over. Place your hand under your shoulder. Stretch out through your fingers and your toes. Looking down towards the ground, lengthening out through the back of the neck. Hold that balance. Are you getting better at these? Have you been practicing them? They need work. All right. You've done stage one of your hovering, of lying flat. Stage two, we're going to have your knees down, elbows down. Stage three, go back with the knees. If you wish, toes under. Stretch the legs out, squeeze the bottom tight, and hold that stage three hovering. Remember, you're pulling your waist in now. So you've drawn it up tight, you're holding your plank in a really long line. If you start to feel your back at all, you pop your knees down, squeeze your bottom, and maintain level two. If that's too much, you go back to level one. Hang in there, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back again, active recovery. Hands under the shoulders. Opposite arm and legs stretching out and holding your balance. Tummy in tight. Lower that down, change it over, take the other side. Hand underneath, reaching out, lengthen through the neck. And then knees apart, hands forward, stretching out, relaxing. Okay, now the only muscle group we haven't really, really worked on is twisting type exercises for the obliques. So once again, let's lie back, keeping the knees bent. Rolling all the way down through your spine. Cross one ankle over, knee out to the side, and bring the opposite shoulder across towards that knee. Up and over, and back, up and over, and back. Breathing out. 
focus into your waist. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Breathe out. Come on. Eight more here. Eight. Seven. Six. Abdominal muscles are endurance muscles. They work all day for you. They need to be punished to really get some tone. All right, switch it over to the other side. Let's go. Think shoulder to knee, right up and across. Not elbow to knee. Again, we're not doing that flapping arm movement. It's the shoulder coming up and across. Eight more times. Breathe out, eight. Up and over, seven. Six. Five, nearly there. Four. Breathe out, three. That's two. And one. Two feet on the ground. Relax for a moment, lifting the hips up and lower that all the way back down. Breathing out, rolling up. Relax down. Two more times. Guess what? You've done a great abdominal workout. We're going to finish with some stretching at the end of the workout today. But right now, just take a little break, have a little breather, relax your muscles and we'll see you very soon. you do abdominal work could be that you want to look good and have a great flat tummy. Another really good reason is to work on your posture, to work on your alignment. And another thing that can help you with your posture is of course your flexibility. If your muscles are tight, they're going to be pulling you into shapes that you don't really want to be in. So you need to make sure that you actually stretch the muscles out. Right now we're stretching out through the hip, so drop your bottom down, wrap one arm across and get a good stretch into the hip area. You can even turn and look over your shoulder a little bit, up really, really tall. The area that we're in at the moment is actually the DY Lagoon area just behind us. And it's actually a sanctuary for a lot of wildlife and birds. That's what I say, that little birds come flying over my head. Good timing there. There's a lot of scrubland around here too. They've actually let a lot of the area stay in its natural state so the animals can survive in amongst all the people, which I think is a good thing. There's another beautiful bird flying across the lake at the back. Excellent. Switch it around, take the other side. Dropping your bottom down, wrapping your arm around, lifting up and over your shoulder. DY is in the northern beaches area of Sydney, so if you're a traveller to Australia coming to Sydney, you need to get some of the, the buses across over the bridge, or if you've got a car, come over the bridge, keep heading north along the, the Pitwater Road until you get to DY, and you keep travelling even further, you'll end up more around the, the Palm Beach area as well. So it's a great area to come and visit, a lot of wildlife, beautiful beaches, We've got great cafes in the area as well, we're just behind the surf club. So in summertime, you've got the clubbies out there protecting the beaches and telling you where to swim. Make sure that when you come here, you do swim between the flags as well. It's so important. If you don't understand surfing conditions, you can't read the surf, you don't know where the rips are going in and out, you won't be safe. Sandbars, they can drop out underneath you and all of a sudden you're in a bit of trouble. So swim between the flags, really important. All right, coming back in the center, soles together, knees out, holding onto your ankles, lift up tall and just stretching, pushing your elbows. So it's opening your knees out to the side and then a little bit further forward. You keep just pressing, pressing, pressing. And then slowly release that back up again. We're going to go for a hamstring stretch. One leg forward, one leg back. If you can't make up your mind what type of exercise is going to be suitable for you, what you should do is probably get yourself a selection of workout videos. That way you can mix it around because not always we're going to, you know, you turn on the TV and you don't really know what sort of workout's going to be on. And you might be really in need of a leg workout and we're doing an ab workout. Doesn't work out for you, that's okay. Don't forget, you've always got your DVDs and videos available. Where do you get them? You can get them at the department stores, video outlets, or why not look at the website as well, www.aerobicsoddstyle.com.au. Carefully lifting out of that stretch, turn your toes up, push your bottom back, and just reach a little bit further. Breathing out. Where are you feeling the stretch? I'm getting it in the back of my hamstrings, in the back of the top part of the leg, and also in the calf muscle. You also might be feeling a bit through your back, if you're tight in those areas, and slowly roll up. Give your legs a little bit of a shake out. Can we come up onto the knees now? We're going for a hip flexor stretch. Some of the areas I'm stretching out are all to do with the posture. If your hip flexors are tight, these muscles in this area here, if they become too tight, they can cause a bit of lordosis or an arch in your back, a curve in your back that you really don't want to have. 
Everyone's got a natural curve. If you exaggerate that movement, get too much of a sway back, high heels can cause that a lot too. Wearing the high heels makes your bum stick out, your back arch movement looks cute, but it's gonna cause problems with your back, problems with your posture. So make sure that when you get out of the high heels, do all the stretching, realign the body. Make sure you're doing exercises that compensate for doing those things that are imbalancing. Coming up and take the other side. One leg in, one leg out. Pushing forward and stretch. Lengthen all the way out. Again, you should be feeling this over your hip bone. If you're not, if you're feeling more in the front leg, you might need to come back a bit. Just take a little bit more of a pelvic tilt. Tuck the pelvis through until you feel the stretch over the hip bone and then take that further forward. There's always just fine little sort of twists that you can do on a stretch that will make it feel just a little bit different. You'll hit a better spot for you. Bring your foot in now, whoops. Heel in beside the knee, chest forward, and you're relaxing into an Achilles tendon stretch here. Once again, if you've been wearing the high heels, Achilles tendon and calf get tight, so you just need to lean forward and give them a stretch. Do a lot of sport, a lot of running. Again, step classes and aerobic rooms, cycling classes, those things, again, can tighten up the Achilles tendon. Switch it around, take the other side. One in, chest forward. Keep leaning over, try and press the heel down. The heel's got to be touching. So you've got to keep the heel down and then keep pressing through. The good thing about stretching yourself is that you can modify the intensity of the stretch. Take the position that you feel good, you breathe after a little while, you try and go a little bit further. Well, guess what? That's all we've got time for today. I hope that you did enjoy the show. I do hope that you continue with your exercise program. Don't forget to go out for a walk, stay active, and we'll see you for the very next Aerobics All Style. Bye for now.